Marco Haskins sets another record here at Wingate. 92 made threes, most in a single season. And well, tonight is, he's nothing short of, of shooting it from downtown. Four of seven for the senior. Great accomplishment to pass Zarek Lawler. And he couldn't show the better team to break the record against. I mean, number nine in the nation. And he started off a little slow. But like I said, you got, can't have any conscience. And that's one guy, it's good to see him break that record. And we'll see if he can get a couple more to add to that too tonight. Meanwhile, Wingate's Quantre Taylor just picked up his third personal. So Eddie, if you're coach good, how do you manage that here? Three fouls at around the 11 minute mark. Well, you, I think you don't, you've got to keep him in definitely because he's such a presence. But right there, just got a little bit too much body in there. Had his hand straight up. But when he brought that right hand down, the refs are going to call that nine times out of ten unless they see that you clearly have all ball. But if I'm Coach Good, I'm keeping him in. Or, you know, right now we took him out because he's such an integral part. You can see Yeah, I mean, he's been big on the glass, no question. And even on the offensive side, you saw when he came out, when they were running a five-out motion, it wasn't effective because they didn't have their big guy in the middle. So, yeah, I mean, good choice by Coach Good to take him out because definitely going to need him down here in the stretch. Wingate has four players in double figures. Queens has three, led by Sean Willett, who's got yet another double-double, 19 and 11. That's his 23rd double-double of the season. Josh Strozer, pick back. Man, and I don't know if that was off the rim yet. I think everybody was looking, but Strozer said he don't care. He's going to go up and get it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Man. Kenny Dye, he's had a lot of easy buckets in this game. 17 points for the true freshman who only averages 5.9 points a game. And, and Sam, I'm going to let you know how the Bulldogs are feeling right now. I think the biggest thing for them right now in this game is for them not to say, hey, we can play with these guys, but to see that you can beat them. You just got to keep doing everything you've been doing in the second half. Marco Haskins picks up his second personal. And nice feed and definitely a foul, but a tough move right there. Kind of flexed on him at the end. And Blaylock just running the floor. And it's, it's very important for your bigs to come stretch to stretch, one end of the floor to the other. And he just found him on a nice little dish. And that was a very strong move by him. See if he can finish the and one. Blaylock, the redshirt sophomore out of Houston, Texas. Coach Lundy on Queen says he is one of the best in the business at taking charges. Jaron Cottingham has to come out. He had blood on his jersey. So Francis Seo comes in. Bulldogs fourth in the sack right now. A win tonight and a Lenorai loss would guarantee them a home game and the sack quarterfinals, the first round on March 6th. Queens trying to stay atop the Southeast region as the one seed. If you're the one seed, you host. Francis Seo, bullseye. That's a huge shot right there. And I think he knew right when he got it, he was just going to shoot it because there was no hesitation. Francis Seo, just a 29% three-point shooter. But Frank, uh, Eddie, when they're, when they're dropping from the others, it's contagious. It is. It is very contagious. And that's for any team. If threes are dropping, then everybody else is going to start piling them on as well. An offensive foul call. And, well, the dominoes fell there. I was going to say, that was that's, a double it, drop. Is that two fouls? Or we I don't know. I don't know. One? And the Bulldogs. something. You can see just the difference, the tenacity on defense by them. Two guys in the position. And I think right now for Murrow, I think on that last possession, the crowd actually got in his head a little bit. I don't know what was going on, but you can just see a little bit of rousiness. It looks like it got him, got to him on that offensive possession. Queens has 17 turnovers in this game. And this is a team that averages only 15.6 in the entire game. So Wingate has clearly been very good defensively. And Royal just running the four out one in. Got to talk and find players. 
Charlie Hobass battles inside, and a jump ball. All right, four players tangled up. I'm telling you, it's got the energy of a postseason game. Going after it, both teams. Yep, the official call is a jump ball, possession error to Queens. Last time Wingate beat Queens was 2017, and it was in this building. Right here, both, and you see, wow, I think Strohs actually got hit in the face. But you see three Bulldogs just corralling on the offensive player. They're going to have to continue to do that, but that back end, that back side, Sam, is going to have to rotate. I mean, it's nice for three guys to be there, but you know it's only two guys on that back end, and they got to talk better because there's been a couple little openings that the Royals have found, but they got to clean that up. Well, heading into the locker room, the question was maybe a 10-point deficit. Is Wingate's belief factor not in the equation? I, I think they've answered that and then some in the second half, Eddie. They've come to play. Jacob Dawkins there on the offensive end. And you're exactly right. They came to play in the second half, and they have to continue to play like this. They can't let up on the defensive, neither the offensive end, because they're getting more high chance opportunities than they did in the first half. Offensively, the Bulldogs have been dynamic. 71% from the floor, the story of the second half. It was a 10 point lead for Queens at halftime and Wingate has completely flipped the switch. And Jacob Dawkins travels. It's only the sixth turnover for Wingate in the game. And that was perfect defense right there by Kevion Blaylock. He saw that he turned his back towards him. Saw he was wanted to spin. Dawkins wanted to spin, but he cut that off. And I think Dawkins just a little bit too quick with it. Didn't know what he wanted to do. And instead saw the back door cut, but it was a little too late. His feet got a little bit too happy on that play. Good job by Blaylock. Here's Kenny Dye, freshman point guard, has 17 points in the game. Van Turner Jr. has been off in the second half. And a foul against Jacob Dawkins. That's Jacob's third personal foul, and we will step aside. Three-point lead for Wingate. Eddie, Strozer the garbage man. Ooh, with four players underneath, he saw a little flex on him.